hi friends welcome back um, so good friends in this video we are going to learn about how to design a website right so this is the second part of the video and we have completed till here okay so home page about us page faculty page and according to the department of computer science department of commerce so we have done till here but now we will do the home page designing okay so this is the index page right so i'm going to design the home page which is at the now at starting so guys let's go to mdbootstrap.com okay so it is a must interface where we can design our uh, things so guys i'm going to click on this and go to javascript where i'll get the carousel okay so i'll click on this carousel and it's loading so after loading we'll copy the code and paste it into our index file right so let's go load it soon so there are many examples okay so this is a simple carousel and this is automatic carousel where it's with the small dot okay so this is this carousel is there so one here navigations are there and one more we have so this is one normal thing where is uh, with the layer fonts okay so we can use this so i'm going to what i'm going to do is that i'll copy this code so this is the code so i'll just click on copy code and it is copied so let's go to our index page so this is my index page index page dot php and this is my slider page okay so what i'm going to do is that i will create one slider okay inside include folder i'm going to create one new file called slider okay or carousel carousel dot php give enter okay so a carousel is created so i'm going to paste it over here that's it so carousel is pasted now so let's call this carousel file into this index dot php file okay so copy this and paste it and i am going to include folder inside includes carousel so includes folder inside that carousel c a r a o u s e l okay carousel dot php and let's get back and this is our index page let's load it so it's loading okay so this is our file so which has been loaded now so guys now let's design one three small small things and let's change this headings and all okay so and let's keep this navbar as a fixed navbar okay so it is moving right so we'll do that later but we will learn about this slider thing carousel thing so let's um, get to that and let's use this is okay light mask by funda of web it okay and this is first text right so please subscribe my channel channel okay done and this is the second thing so second text third thing third text okay so these are the text so let's reload the page and you can see light text bar data please subscribe my channel and next is strong mask third is light mask that is third text so guys you can use this carousel however you want okay you want this into a small size you can change your own image also it's over here so this is the image path where you can include your own images okay so whatever you required so that images you can put it and use it okay so these are the online images so i did done and let's um go to um let's fix one um tree container so i'm going to type is container and i'm going to type one row so r o w row so inside this row i'm going to fix three columns okay column md 4 okay so these are the four 
columns i mean this is one inside one row four column i am going to use i am going to use one card so card body oops we can use card body inside this card body i'm going to use his three heading hello okay hello friends okay so this is my one column four plus four plus four so it's total 12 so in one row 12 column will come so let's reload the page and you can see here three rows okay that is with the card thing okay so now what i'm going to do is that i will give one padding with this okay so just give py5 and we will get the padding right so we are getting the padding and now this is enough and i want the menu bar to be fixed okay so let's get back to our index page it is telling navbar dot php it is in the includes folder so i'm going to include folder called navbar dot php file and i'm going to give here one simple code that is fixed fixed top so guys uh, it is top fixed top and let's go and let's reload the page reload and it is now fixed okay so you can scroll how much ever you want so guys this is our uh, column things which we have done so you can set over here like let's go to index page and set as our vision okay so our vision and simple thing or values okay so whatever you can set it over here and just give a simple paragraph that is p and type um hello this is fund of web it okay so just copy paste it for everyone done okay reload so guys uh, now the simple website has been designed now for this and now we want some welcome page more about carousels we will be learning how to make a carousel using jquery in this uh, website so guys we will go step by step so guys now in this video we have learnt how to make a simple slider in the home page and one card design and how to use heading tags and all so guys now let's continue with one more step okay so this is our row right and just leave it off so i'll continue with again one container simple container with the padding 5 okay so let's start with the container and i'm going to give padding 5 okay so this is bootstrap classes okay so don't not to worry that will work on its own by the classes it will work so guys now i'm going to divide the rows okay I'll create one row done so inside row I'm going to create one 8 by 4 column okay so MD 8 that is 8 and then one more column I'm going to create that is 4 okay so call MD 4 okay so this is the 4 and now one simple card dot card body so inside this I am going to call h2 uh, welcome to my college website website okay and let's give one hr oops hr means horizontal row okay it will create automatically and just give one paragraph this is funda of web it tutorials for website making okay done and let's reload so it's over here okay it is coming in this way so guys it is simple and let's create one more row 
okay which I wanted to be as in this column in this four column so that is um, so I'm going to copy this card so copy and paste it okay so let's paste this and tell um, notices notices okay done save and let's reload so you are getting something like this right so guys you can just follow like this and we can make the contents like this and we can retrieve from the database okay so done so guys uh, yeah it is done so guys now let's design about the about us page and this we in this about us page we will retrieve from the database okay so like we will create one simple image and then we will uh, take a container and inside that we will display the data from the database okay so like for this blog I have already created a admin panel okay so just type admin admin panel is over here and if you want to know about this admin panel I have given the link into the into the description about how to create this admin panel and use in your website okay one two three four right and let's log in so guys this is my dashboard and I have created the admin profile etc so guys simple way I am going to create one about us button okay so these are the pages I will name that pages not over here okay it is here pages and I am going to create about us page according to the requirements okay so in that so guys in, in next video we will be learning about how to create a uh, about us page and design and retrieve the data from our admin panel okay so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share